This is Papa Croc. Actually, it's Papa Palookas is my channel, which like has two people that look at it. However, I'm going to put this on the Palookas channel. Palookas um, channel. Um, but I'm going to call myself Papa Croc because I think I'm really going to get into Croc Pot cooking. I bought a Bella Crock Pot. Great price. It was like $39. Got it through Best Buy. Ordered it through Amazon. It came, but it was leaking around the lid. So I turned this thing on. It's 15 minutes into the cooking. All the steam's going out the backside. Called Bella up. They said, yeah, we'll send you a new gasket. Four to six weeks. I'm like, I'm taking that thing back. So I took it back to Best Buy. They were totally cool. Thanks a lot, Best Buy. Um, and I upgraded. This one was a little more expensive. So I got the Crock Pot Express Cook Multi Cooker 6 Quart. 6 Quart. Yep, 6 Quart. This is my first video. And I have no idea what the heck I'm doing. But I got a feeling because I actually love to cook. I love to cook. So I got a feeling this is going to turn out pretty good because I got some idea of what I want inside here. Um, I'd love your guys' feedback on if I'm talking too much because I got a tendency to talk a lot. What we'll try to do is edit out all my talking and we'll just play music. How about that? <laughs> no, anyways, so this crock pot, we're going to give it a first shot. So what I'm going to do is a rosemary uh, white potato um, with uh, some fresh mushrooms and a can of cream and mushroom soup and I'll take you through um, what we're going to throw into this thing and give it a shot. So, um, and we're working with this one. So if anybody just bought one of these and you got some cool recipes, uh, let me know because I'll end up tweaking them anyways. So, okay, that's out of here. Let's get down to business. So come on over here, camera. What we're going to do... Camera woman. Can't Come on over here, camera pelucas. <laughs> um, so what we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna wash the chicken. You always gotta wash the chicken. All your poultry and fish. So I'm doing four legs, because I do like the dark meat. And I am going to remove the skin, uh, just to make it a little more healthier. So I'll take the skin off. And someone probably knows a better way of doing this, but I'm pretty handy, so we'll just cut that off. Washing this one, peel it back. Hey, let me try that one on this one. That one wants to fight me. Oh, you want to fight? <laughs> okay, now I have to pull this one back a little bit. And then I'll give this to the dog because they'll love it. And that one's fighting me. And the good thing about chicken uh, drumsticks like this is. Um, you can actually play the drums. <laughs> Baby. Baby. You're going to splash chicken all over. Okay, okay. It's going to all get cooked away. Okay. <laughs> so anyways, we'll pull this off. We got one of them off. Probably. You might want to turn the camera off right now because I could cut my finger off. Oh, yeah. Let's record it then. <laughs> Let's just uh, cut this back a little. Actually, I figured out how to get the chicken. If you take the chicken leg like this, and then you kind of pull the skin back, it comes off pretty easy. So I've washed my chicken. I got four legs. You do? <laughs> you have four really? legs? I have four legs. <laughs> you have four legs. <laughs> Remember that one video? Which one? Let me see your forearms. <laughs> Officer. 
I only have two arms. <laughs> He's like, put your forearms out of the car. I only got two arms. <laughs> the kid was serious. And anyway, she search for that one on the internet. It's actually kind of funny. Um, so uh, we're going to do four uh, chicken legs. Um, I got some, pretty much any kind of, before I touch it. Wash my hands so you don't mix up the poultry with the stuff until the dog gets going. But um, these are some mushrooms that I got from the dollar store. Um, not sure exactly what kind they are, but I kind of cut them all up. Um, love mushrooms, fresh mushrooms. Um, got some rosemary. I got four real big sprigs. I'll probably only use Two? half of that if, mm. if, if that. Um, we got some yellow potatoes that I also got from the dollar store. So that's one dollar. That's two dollars. That's free from the, uh, from the garden. I got a can of cream mushroom soup. That that's a sense. fuck. <laughs> I got some wada. Oh, that's kind of free. We got it out from the toilet. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this neighbor's sprinkler was on, so uh, I ran out there and got a cup, two cups of uh, water for free from the neighbor. Um, we're going to use a little chicken flavoring broth when I cook the chicken. Still that um, one. <laughs> and yeah, this is, I don't know, five bucks. At, but it lasts forever. Yeah, it lasts forever. That's like uh, 50 years old. Um, and then we got, um, these are awesome little chilies. What do you call them? Speaking. 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 <laughs> Begin? Begin. Chile, begin. I, I have begun. <laughs> begin, it. begin. <laughs> so we got these, um, I guess kind of free because we're growing it. These things grow crazy in Arizona. We had a bush that was like this big. Mm -hmm. Half of me, and it was wide as me. Not as big as my <laughs> arms. But, okay, so we'll put two or three of those in there. So this is all you need. You'll need some salt and pepper. Um, and we're going to give it a shot. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, uh, just from watching the internet, reading some stuff in the cooking book, is I'm going to cook the chicken first. So I'm going to cook the chicken in the crock pot for 20 minutes. So here we go. I have never, ever, ever, ever used this before. So if you never hear from us again, we blew up. <laughs> I'm going to separate this into uh, two tasks. First task is cooking the chicken. The second task is putting all the other stuff in to make the delicious one whole meal. Uh, it's pro approximately gonna take, uh, um, I'm just gonna cook the chicken for 10 minutes uh, under pressure cook. Uh, I saw a lot of videos that were saying 20 minutes, but I'm also gonna cook it another 20 minutes under pressure cooking in the second batch. So um, we'll just do, let's go 15. I'm gonna break it down. I use about a tablespoon of this. I love lots of spices. This is my official measuring spoon. And we're gonna just do, let's do one tablespoon of that because salt is gonna, about a tablespoon. It goes in there. Get this out of the way. And I am also going to, get some scissors, I am going to, while that chicken's cooking, I wanted to get some rosemary flavor, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. Sprigs of rosemary. It already looks good. Yeah, delicious, <laughs> let's, let's eat. Um, I wanna spice the chicken up a little bit, so I'm gonna put two of those in there, and this is gonna kinda of marinate all together, so two of the chilies. Sarah would probably, Sarah Palookas would probably like five of them, but we're only gonna put two in. Okay. okay, this is gonna be on my second half. So my second half are gonna be the potatoes, the mushrooms, a little bit of rosemary. So right now it's the chicken and the broth, and we're gonna put it in there for 15 minutes and give it a shot. So I'm gonna plug it in. Okay. We got some lights on there. I did read the instructions. Do you think I did? No. Did you? Kinda. <laughs> so, um, okay. we're gonna go ahead and put our two cups of broth. Out of the way. I like. We have a tiny little kitchen, 
so I like to keep things really organized. We're gonna get some pepper, freshly ground pepper, right here. And that's the pepper. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Nice pepper. You started counting at 10. I know. <laughs> and we're gonna do, uh, let's do some good, nice kosher salt. So. That's gonna be the deliciousness. I wanna try this too. I got this from Trader Joe's. I haven't tried it yet. 21 seasoning. It's for different mm -hmm. All right, so anyways, we got the salt, we got the pepper, I got uh, a couple sprigs of rosemary in there, and we got the chilies. I got my chicken, beautiful chicken leg garnish. We're gonna put those right in. We're gonna drop those babies in. And we're gonna let this stuff Look for what did I say? 15 minutes? Yeah. 15 minutes. You want to go take a look at that? Can we eat it now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you set it up? Okay, so uh, first time use for this. They ask you to wash this out, which I did. They ask you to take this. Uh, plastic yeah. ring out, which you just pull it out and wash this with soap and water. So I did all that. And that's it for the setup. And read the instructions because you are dealing with a pressure cooker and there's a lot of things that can go wrong if you don't do it right. However, these things are pretty safe nowadays. This isn't like back in the 60s and 70s when we were growing up and mom had one with a lid that whistled around and they blew up. Mm -hmm. these, are, these are pretty solid stuff. But we're gonna see. So anyways, that's it. And then uh, this is your pressure relief so that um, we don't wanna relieve the pressure. We're gonna have it keep the pressure on. Um, this is your on switch. So actually, it's pretty straightforward. You gotta unlock and a lock. So I'm gonna put this on. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. that fits right like that. So you get your air to your unlock. Now watch, listen, listen to when I turn it. Oh wait, and then I'm gonna put the pressure down. That's pressure, no pressure. That's pressure up, pressure down. That should be locked. Oh, I thought it was supposed to beep. So anyways, we're gonna do poultry. Ah, look at that, 15 minutes. I'm not gonna do any more than 15 minutes. So then we're gonna do start. And run. So here's what's gonna happen. So do a double beep that told me I have it locked in. Um, I have it on poultry. So it's gonna heat up right now and it's not gonna start timing that 15 minutes down. Um, and if you wanted to increase the time right when that 15 minutes came up, you can increase or decrease. Um, we're gonna put pressure, uh, we're gonna leave everything the same because this is kind of preset, so. Uh, should take a couple minutes to heat up and should be good to go. We're going to come back in 15 minutes and see how our chicken looks. Move on to our second stage, which is adding the mushrooms, adding the potatoes, adding, adding the cream of mushroom soup, and we'll add uh, a little bit more water because of, uh, potatoes consume some water. So, uh, about a cup of water. So, see you in 15 Okay, you noticed a couple minutes earlier in this video, it said H-E-A and a small T. Um, what needs to happen is it needs to reach a certain pressure before it actually starts to count down. It's given 15 minutes when you press poultry. Um, so, and in the uh, manual it tells you it takes 10 to 15 minutes based on altitude, humidity, uh, dew point pressure. Um, so it took us about 12 minutes. In 12 minutes, my 15 minutes popped up, and we're already two minutes into our chicken cook time. So right now it is under pressure, under pressure and sealed. So you can, if you actually, oh, <laughs> holy cow, that scared me. <laughs> but if you do this, it actually releases pressure. So that baby's under pressure right now. Uh, we'll be back in 13 minutes. So the beautifulness of taking your skin off. 
Is um your dogs will love you. Don't always get to eat it much. Okay. I'm make sure it's not hot. Little. Yo guys want to go drink and then drink. Yo guys want to down. Down. Hold over. That's a good one. And you don't know how to do anything, so go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so we got 15 minutes on this, and I've actually let it sit for um, probably another five five minutes. So. Wait, aren't you gonna do the pressure first? Yeah, yeah. Do it. Yeah, never grab this to release it because it could be under pressure. So, I actually don't think you can. I'm not ever going to try it, but I don't think you can because it would be too tight to move. So, with this back valve, I just slipped it over and now it's releasing on the back side. If you did that right when it stopped and didn't wait five minutes, ten minutes, but keep in mind it's cooking that whole time too, um, there would be a lot of steam coming. As you saw, I did that before and I got really scared. Okay, so that's good. Oh, hope it smells like little chickens. Okay, so we're gonna. Don't blow. Oh my gosh. Really? I think I could have cooked it five minutes. No way. Holy came out of the muscle. Okay, so let's look at this. Wow. Oh. It's like off the bone already. Yeah. Can you, baby? And actually... Baby, well, can you get a piece and like cut it? Yeah. See the inside. So I'm going to tell you guys something. It was a little sneaky while we were offline. We were supposed to go 15 minutes. And in my mind, I went, I don't want to go that long. I only want to go 10 minutes. I said, that's fine. That's 10. Cinco Diaz. Uh, so I only wanted to go 10 minutes. So I actually shut it off in 10 minutes. And then let it cool for like another 10. And then open it up. But let's do this because Sarah. Pelican! Wants to see. Hey, I didn't call you. I didn't call you. But that's a good trick. Let's do something for you. Yeah, touch the chicken skin. Okay. Do some tricks. Do some tricks. Yeah, sure, you should. Mm, see you later. Get it off the floor. You cook yourself. Okay, back to biz. Out of here with that. <laughs> okay. So we are going to, because you want to see what it looks like. Yeah. You can see here, because you guys might not have seen this, but that is pressure relief. See that? Mm -hmm. Like a volcano. This is, it's not releasing the pressure. And see how it sits lower? So when you push this over, it comes up higher and releases the pressure. That. When you're cooking, you want it closed. That's that valve right there. Yep, so when you're uh, pressure cooking, because you don't have to always pressure cook, but when you're pressure cooking, you, can do you want it closed. Right? Yep. Uh -huh. So. Okay. Maybe I saw it right here. You can do ribs 45 minutes pressure cooked or six hours slow cooked so you have an option of pressure cooking or slow cooking okay, so we're going to take one of these no skins on and grab it and i can guarantee these are all done already it looks like it's done yeah so we'll take that fork into this. You want to try a piece right now? Oh, that looks so delicious. So tender. So juicy. Watch, watch. 
the juice coming out of that. So let's have a piece right now. Go ahead, have a piece. Tell me what you think. Uh, Hot? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hot. It's cooked, baby. Mm-hmm. Good? Super soft. Can you taste the rosemary? Yes. Okay. I can't. Real slight on the rosemary, but I taste it. The, the chicken is soft and very juicy, um, but now we're gonna put everything else in there. So um, I don't think I'm gonna take the bones out. I'm gonna leave it all in there. This will all fall off the bones. And when we're done, we just pull the bones out and be ready to go. Um, because I think those hold the, that marrow and stuff hold a little more flavor. So. Taste the broth. That's a great idea. It's going to out. And there's not a lot of salt, not a lot of pepper. You saw how much I put in. Just a little bit. Ooh. Salt? No salt? So here's what I taste. You got to hit a rosemary first. And as the rosemary hit my tongue, the salt is like perfect, so don't put any more salt in. But I hit rosemary, and then I got a little of the spice from those peppers, um, with with the pepper, so the chili and the peppers. I'm gonna taste this. It's delicious. The broth is excellent. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's a little spicy, uh huh? A little spicy hits you right afterwards and sits in the back of your throat. The rosemary hits you first. So. No, mine didn't sit in the back of the throat, baby. It just went down my esophagus. That's because <laughs> your throat is on your speak. My throat's happy. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and put this back in. And now, if you look at the back, I think I got... Uh, two thirds, one half, full, one third. I'm gonna add, here, let's do it this way, so you guys know. So, now what goes in next, we've already cooked our chicken, which is fully cooked already, um, but I don't think it'll overcook because they're pressure cooking. So find out. So I'm gonna add this full can of Oh. Oops. We had about, I'm going to put about a half a cup of water in that. And I'm just going to mix it up a little bit with the pork. Because I actually want it to be a little bit thick. I mean, your mushrooms are going to release some water. Because those things are nothing but sponges. And your potatoes are going to soak up a little bit. So, a little bit of that water. So, this is all experiment stuff. We did about a half a cup of water. Kick it up a notch with some more rosemary. One, two. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put our mushrooms in. We could rinse those. I haven't rinsed them, so we're going to rinse them just a little bit. And it's okay because they will soak, soak up some water. But uh, it's all right, I'm going a little light on the water anyway, so. Let's our mushrooms. Mushrooms are in. Taters are in. Oh, that kind of splashed on the camera, baby. <laughs> and we are going to put our cream of mushroom with a half a cup of water in there. Is uh, never use a metal. I read this in the instructions. Never use a metal because that's a non stick pop. You use metal, you're gonna start to scrape that stuff off in, I don't know, six months, a year, or whatever. It's gonna be. You know, when you do that on your, your pans and you're scraping them and flipping eggs, 
we'll scrape it off. So I'm going to use a wooden scoop. I'm just going to kind of mix this stuff up. All around there. I'll show you guys the consistency of where we're at. Of our chicken and potatoes. Pretty soupy looking. So this is pretty. So it's, it's like soup. But we'll see. I don't know. I gotta figure this out. Did you want it to be thicker? Well, maybe. You can add a little bit of um, the cornstarch or something. I else? don't think I want to yet, though. Oh, uh, I can do potatoes? that in the end because I think the ta potatoes, taters, are going to suck up a little of that. Okay. So, we'll see. That's what we're going for. All right. So now we're a little more educated on this. You got that right there. So, yeah. Ooh, loves it. That's turned over. I'm locked into position. And I say we're going to go for about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit less. Um, because that chicken cooked in 15, actually 10 minutes. So I'm going to do poultry, but I'm going to bring it back. And it says you're supposed to be able to do this. Okay, maybe not. Uh, so let's go a different. Hmm. Delay timer, temperature adjust, pressure adjust. Let's see if it will let me. Let's see, you bump it up, but it doesn't let you bring it back. Ah, poultry so 15. poultry is 15 no matter what. So we'll try to do soups a long time. Here you go, desserts. Um, However, but look at it, switched oh. it, to, but that's okay. I'm going to switch it back to high pressure. And I got 10 minutes, and we're going to hit start. And now it's going to go through its H-E-A, small t. That no way looks like a T to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it kind of does. But you would think the N comes out there. Okay, so anyways, it's heating. So as soon as this, pro oh, wait. Yep, I got my pressure to off. Um, off? Or not release, I'm sorry, not off, but not release, so it's not gonna release the pressure. So as soon as this comes to pressure, then it'll um, start counting down 10 minutes. And after it counts down 10 minutes, I'll take you guys back right to that point so we can see what it looks like. Okay. First ever. Pop a crock cooking video. Okay. So, me and Sarah Paluka, ah, Palookas, <laughs> we're talking about what we did today. So, I did two phases. I cooked the chicken for 10 minutes, and we cooked that with a little bit of broth, salt, and pepper, and some rosemary. And then we put uh, cream mushroom soup on the mushrooms and all the rest of the stuff in and cook that for another 10 minutes. So that's 20 minutes of potatoes and what else did we have in there? I forget that. Mushrooms. Mushrooms, potatoes and um, so we cooked that for another 10 minutes. So for a total of 20 minutes um, and the recommendation on the chicken was 20 minutes. So we were saying why can't it all go in at the same time? So the next video that we're going to do, we're going to take all those ingredients, lay them out, show you guys what the volumes are for each one, and we're going to put it all in the crock pot, hit 20 minutes, and see what happens. But uh, this one just finished. Um, so when it finished, it beat three or four times. It went to all zeros. And I'm not really sure what it's doing, but it just went to one to two. This is how, well, you know what this is. This is uh, how many minutes after it completed its 10 minute cook that we set. So we're two minutes into it. And that's actually kind of a cool function um, because it tells me I'm two minutes beyond my 10 minutes. Um, so it's actually slowly kind of releasing the pressure. So we've been releasing pressure for two minutes. Um, we could stop it and open it up, 
But uh, I think what it wants you to do is give it that five to ten minutes to let it kind of cool down. But you got to keep in mind that when it's doing this, it's still cooking it. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the process. I think it's got way enough cook time going. So we're just going to take this little well right here. And if I die, this is my last, first and last video. And we're going to release some of that. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. The whole kit did it. Oh, it smells good. That's rosemary and potato. I can smell the potatoes in that. I didn't put any more salt in. Uh, chicken, rosemary, salt, pepper. Three minutes. So I'm kind of accelerating the depressurized time. And I'm reducing the cooking because typically it'd still be cooking. So, uh, but the, the thing you want to cook the most is your chicken. So once that's done, and we did that on the first stage, it was uh, finished. Baby, huh. okay, let's go for you. I think we're almost all out. Wait, no, I still hear it. Well, I mean, I'm not scared anymore. <laughs> I am. So it's pretty much exhausted. Five minutes. It would probably want you to go to ten minutes. Okay. I'll have to let it run out next time and just see what it does. But um, I think I, I didn't want to overcook anything. So I'm pretty sure we're cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit stop. And we're going to see. <laughs> well, it didn't explode. Didn't explode? I'm going to go ahead and unplug. Okay, now we're going to get the uh, wooden spoon. And we're going to take a look at this. This one is still a little liquidy. Very little pressure. These potatoes are perfect. So you could probably do half of the liquid I did. However, Actually, really kind of a good broth. I'm gonna probably thicken up as this cools because I can already see it thickening a little bit. No, that's delicious. Salt? No, I don't think so. I think it's really good. And even the spiciness kind of came down a little bit. And I just drink saliva. <laughs> I thought the second one was for me. It was, but I had to try it one more time. Okay, okay here it goes. Wait. Baby. Here you go, internet. <laughs> Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. I love the rosemary. Yeah. You can taste it a lot. Yeah. But it's super delicious. So if you're in Arizona, walk around almost any park and you'll find rosemary bushes. Don't ever buy that stuff in the store. It grows like weeds out in Arizona. Just go get it, clip it, wash it, and it's good to go. Uh, express cooking with Papa Croc. Actually, Papa Palookas. Thank you, uh, Sarah Palookas, for filming the video. And um, our next video is going to be doing this all at once uh, and putting it all together. 
Um, this took us a total of 10 minutes for the first part, uh, 10 minutes for the second part, so 20 minutes, and then maybe about 15 minutes prep time. So you're looking at 35 minutes uh, for a complete meal, finished, and we're going to try to reduce that to about 25 minutes. 20, in the 20, next 20. one, we'll put it all together. Thanks a lot, everybody.